One viewer asked, how do you get more than one design of one image on a 4x4 machine? I just thought this was an excellent question to ask because if you can um, create clones of one large embroidery design, then you can create step and repeat patterns and all sorts of fun things. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how to clone large embroidery designs on a small 4x4 machine. For this project, we are going to be using Invert Editor. However, you may use any software that you see fit to accomplish this. The very first thing I'm going to do is go to Insert and Aligning Stitches. And I'm going to place aligning stitches at the end of printing out the Clone Trooper. And I would like those aligning stitches to be on the bottom, the right, and the left. And the reason for this is if I decide to print a clone on either the right or left sides, then I will be able to align it properly. And then also that bottom alignment line will allow me to line up this clone with uh, whichever other clones that I print so that they're not at different heights. Of course, I have to save the document. So I'm gonna go up to file and save this as clone end because the alignment stitches are indeed printing out at the end. I am going to go over to edit and undo to erase the alignment stitches that I did before. And now I'm going to go back to insert and aligning stitches. And this time I'm going to create aligning stitches um, at the beginning of the embroidery file instead of at the end. And the reason is because I would like to properly align this second clone with the first. Uh, so I need to be able to see uh, where the aligning stitches are going to go in relation to the aligning stitches from the last clone that we created. I am going to hoop this fabric so that we can print the embroidery design. On the back, I just sprayed some 505 adhesive and added medium tearaway interfacing. I think I want the design to go about there. So I'm just going to hoop it and then we're going to go off to the embroidery machine. First clone trooper has been printed out now and as you can see it is not perfect there's some pulling going on here and I would change go back and change the file to make it correct but this is just an example so I'm just gonna continue on with it and ignore that and we're just going to uh, stitch out the alignment lines on the left on the right and and the bottom So I stitched out the alignment lines and removed the design from the hoop. Now I am going to rehoop the design um, so that I can print out the next clone trooper. I've already placed some very lightweight interfacing in this hoop and I am going to simply spray it with the 505. and then place the design on top and hoop it that way. The reason why I am laying the design on top is because I may have to reposition this in order to get the alignment lines to line up perfectly with the next alignment lines on the second um, trooper. And then also, if I were to hoop this inside of the embroidery hoop, um, it would burn the design so you would see the line of the embroidery hoop in um, in the stitches and we don't want that so that's why I'm placing it on top 
I have now gotten this clone trooper perfectly aligned by air printing uh, along this line here until I got it perfect. And now I'm about to stitch out the bottom alignment line and the right alignment line. If you would like to learn more about how to get the alignment lines lined up properly, uh, look at my video, How to Print Multi-Hoop Embroidery Designs. There will be a link in the description below, and also I'll try to place a link somewhere inside of this video. So this is what the final product looks like. I wanted the clones to print out touching and side by side, so I printed it out like this. But if you wanted the second clone to be farther away from the first, then you would simply align your uh, machine with this alignment line and then use this little window here to move the needle over as many times as you wanted it to move over. These are the final results of this project. It looks like the second clone printed out slightly above the first. And that is because I did not get the bottom alignment line perfectly square uh, as I should have. But it's okay and I'm perfectly happy with the way that this turned out. And I may just print another clone on this side to complete it. Um, please let me know your thoughts in the comments and please like and subscribe to receive more sewing related content.